for me, the thing that I think is particularly interesting in regards to China is what the rest of the world, particularly people in the emerging markets, think about China and view China in the context of globe economics and politics in the decades to come. Um, and let me frame it like this. Um, you have two economies. The largest economy, the United States, let's call it $15 trillion GDP. It has democracy as its political ethos and it has private capitalism as its economic uh, strategy. Um, you have the second largest economy on the planet, uh, China, um, with about $7.5 trillion. Um, it has no democracy as its political strategy, and it has state capitalism as its um, economic uh, approach. Um, these two strategies have the same Gini coefficient, which is what the measure that economists use to measure income inequality. So because 90% of the world's population lives in the emerging world, I know living in the United States, you're all obsessed with November 6th, but I've had the good fortune to travel to over 50 countries around the world, and many of them in the emerging world. Um, people in the emerging world are actually obsessed with who is going to win this competition. Is it going to be an American dream or a Chinese vision? Um, but what do we really mean by this? Um, and I think there are lots of different things that we can point to, uh, even with the context or with the backdrop that China is going through a bumpy road right now. Um, many more leaders and people from the policymakers from the emerging world spend time in Beijing than they do in Washington. Um, the discourse in the United States continues to be incredibly negative towards China. And um, more than that, policymakers from the United States tend to go to emerging countries and almost are now on a campaign of scaremongering. Um, oh, Chinese are just about uh, neocolonialism. They cheat, they lie. And it seems to me that there's a missing component in Washington, um, missing sort of chip in their brain to understand that the world is, ch is changed and is changing quite considerably. Um, may I just also give you a bit more context in, in the sense that this 90% of the world that lives in the emerging world, um, of that population, I should have said, my disclaimers, I'm from Africa. In places where, like my own continent, 70% of the population is under the age of 24. Um, in places like um, uh, Uganda, for example, 50% of the population is under the age of 15. Um, we need jobs, we need investment, and that is something that the Chinese have been able to deliver um, very strategically. Are there issues? Of course there are. Um, however, I think to think that the Chinese are on this sort of raping and pillaging neocolonialist campaign is actually backfooting the United States um, in, in what I think is the most important uh, election that's going to decide where the world goes in the next decade.